Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nirajana from Leo Tales. So, as I mentioned earlier in one of my videos, we will be discovering a lot of made in India brands in the upcoming days. And today our brand will be Forever Earth Skincare. So, this is a brand that I came across on Instagram and the brand owner is Isha. And this is a completely handmade brand and they use natural ingredients as much as possible with very less uh, chemicals and then there is absolutely no silicon sulfates parabens etc so in today's video i have uh, like five to six products which were sent in the last week of march or april i guess so i've been using it for more than a month right now and i'm sharing my thoughts with you guys i feel that this is one of the brands that we should be checking out and that is why i'm making this video as well so let's get started the first product that i want to talk about is a very very unique thing it is the african black soap so this one is for body or for face or for hair, something that you can use to, you know, wash your entire uh, soul. So this is African black soap, which has been traditionally used in West Africa as a remedy for many skin ailments like eczema, discoloration, acne, rashes, etc. Even for the most sensitive skin type, this can be used. I haven't used this product on my hair as such, but I've seen reviews on the website that suggest it can be used on your hair as well. So this is a little expensive at 895 rupees for 200 grams. So I was wondering, okay, I might finish it off really soon, but let me just show you the quantity that is remaining after four uses. See that much quantity is left after four uses which means this is going to last for a pretty good time so it also it doesn't come with a loofah as it but uh, isha had sent me their handmade loofah as well soak this loofah in water then you can actually see that it doubles up in size uh, this is a natural loofah which is completely smooth on skin when i tested it for the first time i felt it was a little rough but that was not the case once you soak it in water it becomes soft and you can scrub it otherwise you can use any of your washcloths or regular loofahs and then pour a very little quantity of this uh, african black soap onto that and just like how you would use a shazel or a body wash you can use it for your entire body you might be tempted to pour a little extra because you might feel oh there is no lather but don't do that you will end up wasting a lot of product just pour a very little quantity and lather Lather it up and see if that lather is enough for you. For me, that was a very good experience. It is a very good experience. And I absolutely love the uniqueness of the ingredients of this particular one. So they say that this black soap is made with ash from roasted plantain skin, which is a good source of vitamin A and E, roasted cocoa pod, coconut oil, shea and cocoa butter. But this is not too heavy on skin. It kind of feels very lightweight, just like some colored water kind of feeling. But once it lathers up, you would know. It doesn't have any added uh, fragrance or essential oils or anything. A very earthy, natural kind of scent, which feels quite good. So the cocoa pod ash, Provides the mildest form of exfoliation, which is very good for everyday use. Then the goodness of butters and oils, which will prevent all sorts of dryness as well. The soap is free from eye, which is IYE, which is replaced with the ash from roasted plantain skin and cocoa pod. Very, very unique kind of product and that exactly why this one is a little expensive. Not something that you would find in a regular market also. I love, love, love this one. The second product that I've been using regularly for more than one and a half months is this Resveratrol Anti-Aging Serum, which is for all skin types. It is priced at just 375 rupees for 10 grams. And Resveratrol, well, the ingredient actually caught my fancy, to be honest. Resveratrol is something that you will find in foods like grapes, peanuts, etc. And you will find Resveratrol in a lot of, you know, topically applying skincare products like serums, etc. Because it has a, the ability to calm down your skin and minimize, you know, redness, etc. Which means you can easily use it on sensitive skin because when I started using I had a couple of breakouts you know period related etc so I was asking Isha if it is safe to put it on my skin and she said yeah completely go ahead and use it I used it it did not cause any increase in breakouts or anything but it is not something that is going to uh, work on your scar or anything because this is not meant to be so but this one in general makes your skin feel supple and soft it also contains watermelon seed oil which is again good for I think my kind of you know sensitive uh, skin and it also contains vitamin E so the good thing is that it doesn't have any added fragrance or anything it has this uh, the fragrance is I don't know it's not sweet or pleasant or anything but once you apply onto your skin you will just forget that it exists it's it is a non-sticky you know gel based kind of serum so you just need three or four drops for your entire face just massage it and within five minutes you won't even feel that you have something on your face something that i prefer to use it at night before going to bed and i can actually see the results i can feel that my skin texture has improved when i wake up in the morning there is a there's a definite glow and it did not break me out. So for 375 rupees, I think the 
product does complete justice considering the ingredients as well and resveratrol is something that you wouldn't commonly find in you know face serums etc and everybody is running after vitamin c then this is kind of a unique ingredient to go for during these times the next one is a cleansing oil anti pollution deep cleansing oil with lysolecithin baobab oil i think it also contains sebaktone oil so a cleansing oil well for the longest of time i believe that oily skin or sensitive skin should not be using oils because it might break the skin out but i was wrong i have been using this for um, i think i used it not regularly but at least 6 times till now before making this video and it did not break me out or anything so it will be extremely beneficial if you are someone who travels a lot then your skin will definitely be polluted but even if you stay indoors you can use it you know every night uh, just you know apply on to your face take a couple of pumps massage gently and wipe off with a cloth and that's it i also use it as a makeup removing oil when i go out you know when i have just a little bit of lightweight makeup like a little bit of foundation eyeliner lipstick etc this actually does a very good job at removing the makeup also it is kind of a very lightweight oil once you wipe off with a microfiber cloth you wouldn't feel oily just afterwards i'd use a face wash and wash off and that's it there is no oiliness left on my face my face feels clean so if you're someone who uses a lot of public transport for traveling etc then you will definitely feel a lot of pollution on your face at the end of the day and this is the kind of oil that you would want to use for cleansing and i would definitely recommend this one because it is safe to be used it has very promising ingredients it contains cold pressed sweet almond oil cold pressed grape seed oil isolecithin baobab oil avocado castor oil sebaktone berry vitamin e well you can't go wrong there's so many good oils in it and with sensitive skin like mine i did not break out so i would definitely recommend this one then i have another product which is rose hydrating mist even i was like you know okay i could just get any rose water from the market and it doesn't make much difference i i could just use it to mix my face mask or i'll just use it like a face mist well, that's not important but turns out it is very very important so this particular rose hydrating mist is 100% pure steam distilled it does not contain alcohol and it is suitable for all skin types what i love the most about this particular product is the fragrance such natural fragrance So the key ingredient of this one has to be rose but a little different actually. So I was reading up a little bit on that. They call it the Chaitri rose which blooms in the hottest part of India during the month of Chaitra that is March to April. It is light pink in color unlike the roses that you see in other parts of India. It has a very sweet fragrance and quite delicate. So the difference is that the nutrition of the entire year goes into this one final bloom which happens during the month of Chaitra and that Chaitra rose or Chaitri rose is used for making this rose mist i use it 3 to 4 times a day you know just randomly casually spray it on my face and i love that fragrance i feel instantly refreshed and the quantity is quite good i can use it for mixing my mask and all it will last for a very long time so whenever you're going for rose water or things like this always go for steam distilled alcohol free products which will be extremely good for sensitive skin and this particular chaitri rose it makes me all the more excited to use it because i feel like i'm using some kind of a very special product on my face The last product from Forever Earth is a little unique actually. It is a roll-on. They have three roll-ons. One is for stress relief and the other one is for focus and the last one is for good sleep or sound sleep. The one that I have here is sound sleep. This is actually their earlier edition because they're going to upgrade the packaging and formula a little different actually for now. But anyway, this one was a good one actually. So all you can do is just take it out and rub it onto your pulse points or you can directly sniff it just before going to bed i usually use it like you know rub it on my pulse points behind my ears etc and sniff it a little bit and then go to sleep so the main ingredient of this one well very easy to guess lavender it also contains clary sage marjoram roman chamomile and cold pressed sweet almond oil it is 8 g or 8 ml and the price of this one is 375 rupees it has rather a good expiry also i think about a year you can use it on your temples as well or wherever you feel like you know getting that fragrance so I can't for sure say that okay this one is putting me to sleep but this could be one of the several reasons why I feel that my sleep has become a lot calmer these days and I like to carry something like this with me when I'm traveling and all because the fragrance is really very soothing and very uplifting also so yeah, this was the last product from Forever Earth and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video because I did introduce to you a lot of new products like the like the roll on and then the anti pollution oil and then the african black soap i mean how cool that can be i3 rose distill hydrating mist all of those products are indeed very unique i would definitely want you guys to check out forever earth it is one brand that you will definitely like and there are many more products including their uh, 
bestseller i think it's a clarifying shampoo nettle and one more ingredient is there which i keep seeing on their feed often so that is also another product that you can maybe try so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what are your thoughts about this i would like to know we will meet again with another video until then take care bye